guys, it's test day, happy Friday, and I'm about to go in there and take the test, the pediatric board exam that I have been studying for the past couple of weeks for. And I just wanted to tell you guys that I am super nervous. I have a lot of test anxiety, but you know what? We can do this, we can conquer it. We know what we know at this point and whatever happens at the end of the day, if I pass or fail, you know, it is what it is. And you know, you can always take it again. Just gotta be positive and go in there, do your best and know that you studied your hardest these past few weeks before you go into an exam. You know how hard you studied. A test does not define who you are. And yeah, I just wanted to hop on here before I go in and just, you know, I wanted to also say thank you guys to all of you guys who gave me words of encouragement this morning and the last couple of days. It's been really helpful for me. And yeah, I'm just so thankful for all of you for being a part of my journey. And hopefully I'll let you guys know how it goes at the end of the test today. So yeah. It's about 180 minutes for 170-ish questions. So let's go, wish me luck. We'll see you on the other side. <laughs> What's up you guys? It's just right after the test and it took me almost the full three hours to finish that thing. Holy baloney, baloney, cannolis, guys. <laughs> um, it was a lot. Yes, there was a lot that I knew, but there was also actually a lot that I wasn't for sure 100% with. I'd say a lot was like 70 to 85% of me was like, I think it's this, but it could be this, which I really, really don't like. Um, but yeah, it's over with. All I can do really is wait for my results. Usually with your board exam, you'll get your results right away. But with the pediatric board exam, they make you wait 60 days from when the last person takes their test. It gives you you know, all this time to think about whether you passed or not. And it kind of sucks because I'm not gonna study for now, knowing that if I may fail it, I may have to take it again and have to study again. But yeah, I'm just gonna like, just relax now. It was really difficult actually. There's a lot of images, a lot of questions that I was like, Ah, which one is it? So yeah, but I'm gonna go eat now because I'm so hungry and we'll talk a little bit more about it later. You guys, so I just got home and they just surprised me with food, lots of yummy food, and all these snacks and gifts, look. So he said it's an after-test snack basket. Look how cute, ooh, Mighty Buddies, White Fudge Oreo Bites, oh my gosh, Kit Kats, Reese's Pieces. Aw, popcorn that uh, Whitney Simmons always talks about. And flowers, babe, you didn't have to do this, thank you. We don't even know if I passed or not. Canada Drive for me. <laughs> Who knows if I passed or not, but thank you so much. Yeah, I, won't, I won't find out if I pass in a long time from now. It's okay. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you pass or not. What matters is how hard you work. Oh, thank you, babe. Aww. So I'm so excited to just eat food and relax now. Well, I gotta go to work tonight. <laughs> but it's okay, we're gonna eat food. He got some Spam Masubi, yum. Ooh, I think this is Loco Moco. Is that Loco Moco? Loco teriyaki Korean, or no, it was a teriyaki steak for you to take to work. Teriyaki steak. spicy Korean chicken for me. Wow, thank you, babe. So much food, yay. I'm gonna devour this right now. <laughs> What's up you guys, I'm here at work. It is such a interesting night, but I wanted to hop on here and tell you guys that after I took my test, basically, usually they print you out a piece of paper that tells you if you pass or fail. Now, because I have to wait till that window period is over and then get the results in 60 days, blah, blah, blah. I got a piece of paper that just told me that. And then I also got an email today that told me that as well. So, you know, the anxiety is real when it comes to just waiting to figure out your results for your test. And, you know, I'd rather find out right away if I pass or not, but they have their reasons for doing this. And so we're just gonna wait a few months to get our results. But I'm like trying to contemplate if I should post this now or wait until later. And I'm thinking more like towards later when I get the results, but we shall see. It's just a thought. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know 
you know we're just gonna be waiting i will start studying again maybe next week about an hour a day just to keep everything fresh in my mind in case i need to retake it again so you know you just gotta stay positive it's not the end of the world if you don't pass you know you can always take it again and people always talk about when they pass their exams but people never talk about when they fail their exams so you know it's kind of just like i've, I've failed exams in the past and you kind of just have to keep your head up and stay positive and do your best the next time around. But we're just gonna keep on having them positive vibes and hope and pray to the ultrasound gods that I passed. <laughs> but yeah, just gonna head back to work and see you guys in a little bit. What's up you guys? It is uh, currently June 7th and it's 6 a.m. in the morning and I have some big news for you guys. The ARDMS pediatric boards exam results are in and it was exactly 80 days since I took the test. 80 days since March 19 and usually with board exams you can get your results right away right when you basically finish your exam but for the pediatric board exam they kind of just torture you because you don't get your results until 60 days after the last person takes their exam. So I believe that was in April. And so everyone was talking about it recently. I had so much anxiety for this whole entire time waiting. The results are in and I didn't want to wait any longer and let you guys know that I passed. I can't believe it. I literally can't believe it. <laughs> and I just checked my score this morning. My coworker messaged me, he said, the results are in and I'm like, oh my gosh, I either check it now and just deal with it if I didn't pass or I pass. So, you know, even if I didn't pass, that wouldn't make me any less of the sonographer that I am. So for those of you who don't pass your exams on the first try, that's okay. It doesn't mean that you're not a good sonographer at all. It just means you need to study a little bit more. And you know, I have failed other exams before. So just trust me when I say failing is not the end all be all because you can always take it again. But I just literally can't believe that I passed. You guys have been there with me through this whole time from the beginning since I first started studying and you guys studied with me, you guys did lives with me and oh my gosh, I just can't believe it. it's such a relief. You guys know that if I didn't pass that exam, I would have had two more tries to basically keep my job at the hospital because they are requiring pediatric sonography registry now to work there so everyone that was uh, not yet registered had to take it within 18 months and pass and so a few of my other co-workers also passed so I'm just so excited for us so relieved so happy and I feel like a whole weight lifted off my shoulder but yeah I just wanted to share the news with you guys I know looking back at the other video from before I remember how I felt so stressed out and it was the hardest thing ever. And I feel that way about every single test that I've taken. So again, I'm not a good test taker, but if I can do it, you guys, this is proof that you guys can do it too. So yeah, I guess that's just the end of this video for now. We'll do more videos in the future about the pediatric board exams and basically how to study, but I'm just so grateful and thankful for you guys for being a part of my journey and for letting me be a part of your guys' journey. So I've got to go to work. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any more content that I put out there. I'm just so excited. I have so much news to give you guys and it'll come in the future videos. So stay tuned. Don't forget to be kind to one another, stay safe and stay positive. And as always, we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations! Yeah. 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 Yeah